Welcome back to another uh, video tutorial of the IGCC Edexcel ICT practical exams. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with working through the um, the specimen papers because this year is the first is when they've changed the syllabus over from um, is, is a new style syllabus, most of which is all the same. But the exam papers on the specimen look slightly different. Um, whereas this time, if you look at the um, if you look at the structure of the of how it's done, it's instead of being done by five sections, it's done by two sections. So they've split it into two. Um, but it's still got the same thing. Um, in fact, the specimen paper seems to have graphics, databases, is word processing spreadsheet websites and presentations so it's got all six tasks in there so i thought i'd go through just in case there's any new things that come up remember do check the the mark schemes just in case i do miss things out i don't uh something i don't do is i don't look at the mark scheme beforehand so i do it from what i'm hoping and then if i and then hopefully everything will go right but do check the mark scheme yourself okay uh, anyway, this is specimen paper 2017, three hour long. You get a load of exam questions. These tutorials are designed for Mac. Uh, therefore, I will be using Composer for websites, GIMP for uh, graphics, spreadsheets, presentation, PowerPoint, and Word for the for the office based tasks. But of course, the big difference is databases where I can't use Access. I have to use FireMaker Pro Advanced because that is what's only available for, well, that's really the, the only real good one available for a Mac. Um, and there aren't many tutorials out there for it. Anyway, again, it's very similar. You complete all candidate details at the end. You then use treasury tab to attach your printouts together. It's out of 100 marks. And we go to page two, and it's got some instructions it's split it into two. It says work through tasks in order. Make sure your name is on every file um, with the task number. And so then we go on to the next page. It tells us the scenario. It tells us the name of the person, the company, the address, the telephone number, website, email. It even tells us a health style here. So the sort of format it wants on every single document. This is important to note. So it says it wants uppercase letters for the company name. So you need to make sure uh, Sunset Cruises is in capital letters. The top margin is set to four centimeters and the logo is on the top right. So it's telling you, uh, it's telling you a certain design it wants every single document. So they all look consistent. House style is all about making things consistent. Okay. And so we go to section A, which is um, looks like a graphics task. Selvi needs a logo to be used on some documents. Looks like they don't tell you that they're graphics web authoring, so it's up to you then. Selvi needs a logo. Open a new word processing document. Enter task A1 and your name in the header this time. So it wants it in the header. So we need to create a new document. And put in task a1 and your name in the header slightly different to previous tasks actually where they've been asking for it in the footer but we do as it tells us so task a1 delete the middle one and then we put our name and details in the header so and we close it then it says create the logo. The logo must be fit for purpose and be a simple drawing that combines lines and shaded shapes and represent a sailing ship, uh, sorry, a sailing boat. So it looks like we've got to draw it ourselves. Of course, we haven't got the internet. We do have some files and I imagine the files are probably not going to show us what we want. Um, let's update the files now to a bit more. Um, all these are photographs, so of course it does look like we're going to have to make these um, these with shapes, uh, lines and shapes. 
So if we go to GIMP, this is where you're going to see my terrible drawing because I'm not very good. Uh, it needs to represent a sailing boat and it needs to include the uh, company name ITSC. Okay, so um, over here, let's go back, loading up. Uh, we need to create a logo. So file, add new. Um, and oh, File, and new. We don't want it too big. So I'm going to have it about 800. Uh, and probably maybe, uh, let's say, tell you what, 500 by 500 okay probably that makes a nice square actually press ok um got this white background which is fine we want to make a a um what we're we trying to make we're trying to make a sailing boat hmm. interesting so we need to get some line tools at the side here um uh, so we want to create some line tools um pencil tool there ellipse select cut foreground, this creates paths, pipette, zoom, measure, draw, align, crop. Um, the interesting thing is we're looking through it and it doesn't look like there's a uh, draw. Bucket fill, letters, apart from the pencil. There's an eraser there, airbrush. Um, well, this looks interesting to be fair. Um, I don't believe that we can actually use, uh, if we want to draw freehand drawings, we don't think we can do, um, doing GIMP. So this is where I'm just going to check my applications here because did I ever download a file called Critter? No. So I think the best thing we're going to have to do is use Critter. Um, and I'm going to open that up in a second. Obviously, we can't use it. GIMP has been good for uh, photo editing, which is good with what the previous tasks are 2011 to 2018. With this one, though, we need to create an image, and that's where I think Critter will come in much useful. So I'm going to create a new file, and we're going to um, say I'm going to create it as 500, 500 pixels, and we will create and so when it created we've got this square we want to have a shape here so i'm going to draw um why is my pen very big i'm going to make this smaller um there we are um That is a line. Okay, I'm going to draw a line. There. If I hold down Shift, I can draw a straight line. Oh. There we are. Up here. Another one here. Along. Um. As I said, I'm not very good at drawing. One up here. down here along and then we'll do this all the way down click and hold back um, 
because you've got a gap there so we just want to get rid of that now if we want to fill this in at all we should because it's on one layer we should be able to select the the fill tool the fill bucket if i make this bigger you can see it um there is a fill bucket there are other shapes you can use here um and if we find the fill bucket which is this one here i can click i can then choose a color for example so maybe i want to have it as blue and i can then fill in what i want well that's done it in black not quite what i wanted um there we are, let's change it down to black uh, the right color um I don't like this part here, so I can just, there we go, I've colored it in. Um, and maybe also we'll change that in there and we'll just move it around so we fill it in. Okay. And we're going to have it simple as such. Uh, combines lines and shaded shapes. Combines lines and shaded shapes. Hmm. Um, if I want to, this is a very simple drawing. If you want to, you can just make your own by adding let's say, a shape like that, and then you can then change the size of it. Um, let's say you want a green, for example, and then you could then fill it in with the paint pot, like so. Oh! Um, I mean, that's so I could. Like so I could make a circle and then fill it in. With the color, oh, I think it's trying to put it down on one thing. Let's put it down a different layer. See, let's add a new layer. There we go. Add a new layer. Click there. Use a fill tool. Should just fill it in. I don't know why it's not filling that in. Um, if you wanted to, you could fill it in like that way, but I don't like it that color. I'm going to set the pipette there, set the brush. So I'm not very good at painting, but you can then paint it round if you so desire there, if that's the easiest way to do it. If, you, if it was so hard. And then you can actually just move it because it's on the layer. You probably want the move tool. Okay, so this one here. And I can move it, but it's underneath. So I drag it up right there and select it. Okay. Um, I don't really like that, so I'm going to remove that down here. Oops. Just click. The other thing I need to put do is put the letters I T S C at the top. So let's put the letters on here. So add a new layer um, but you can choose layers as well I T S C uh, you can make it bigger so we'll make it about 24 and we will save that's good. 
close that. I'm going to move that up here. Okay. I might even change the, uh, the actual canvas here because it is quite big uh, in comparison to the picture. So image, resize pa uh, panda. Um, let's so press OK and let's just resize it a bit. Um, right, one there, and then we set the other one, put that in the middle, like so. And all I need to do, so that's my sailing boat, fantastic sailing boat. And all I need to do is save as, um, as ITSC logo. Um, not as a critter file, but as a JPEG. So ITSC logo, and we'll put this onto the desktop. So if I choose this one at the side, desktop, and we should find data files, and I can put it here, save. And I'm going to say save. Okay. Now, going back to data files, I've got to drag this into here and perhaps make this bigger because it's quite small but it is a, it is a logo and you want a logo to be small um, like so uh, which is good it says answer this question one advantage between vector or bitmap now this is going to have to look at a difference here and just to, very quickly I found a very simple um, thing we have Bitmap images, okay, very simple. A bitmap image is made up of uh, little blocks, little blocks on the uh, each image is made up of a number of different squares, okay. Um, and so you won't be able to see it from with your eyes, but of course, your brain will think it's the whole image. However, when you make that bigger, that image, the squares get bigger and then it becomes pixel pixelated. On the other hand, vector graphics is made with uh, mathematical formulas okay so when you make something bigger it then change the math the mathematics within that will then change the auto change the size of the um of the the image okay so you don't see any blurriness so differences between bitmap and vectors there are advantages to doing both Bitmap involves less processing power than vectors. So, for example, a bitmap image would be like a clip art. Vector is a, um, would be more, um, so a bitmap would be probably like a, um, uh, perhaps like a, a uh, could be like a photograph or something where you might make it bigger and it will change vector. It could be like clip art, for example. Okay. Um, so yeah, bitmaps made up of individual pixels, just like a photograph. As you make the photograph big, bigger, it gets blurry. Clip art doesn't. Okay, bitmaps can be uh, made small. They can represent color. Each pixel can represent a different color. Whereas on the other case, vector, when we're having a look here, they're made with mathematical equations. So when you make something bigger. It will get bigger without any blurriness or distortion. So why? So here, of course, look at the differences. Bitmap uses less power. Okay, that's an advantage of bitmap. However, they're made up of pixels, whereas vector made made of equations, calculations. That means they don't distort. Okay, bitmaps can be grouped. Uh, individual cannot be grouped there, whereas vector can. Images in bitmaps are less precise, whereas in vector, they're more precise. Uh, bitmaps take up more memory, photographs take up more memory, whereas vector don't. Bitmap take up much more storage space. So going back to our question, what's an advantage? Well, A, uh, um, why would we use a vector graphic? Okay. And we can see vector 
graphics take up less storage space and when you change their size the image does not distort unlike bitmap images okay going back we go down to the next part um, we just we can save and print this one now so save and we save this as task a1 okay and I'm going to save this to desktop we go down and Salvi has collected information so that's basically the graphics done Salvi now has created and collected information about boats and customers who hire them she has saved the image about in the in database boat hire the boat table includes the information about the boats available the hire table includes information about the customers okay and we need to first of all you'll be given this file but of course we're going to set this up okay i'm going to make this smaller so you don't see it uh this one here as well so we don't need this now uh but we do want to have the um file maker pro file new solution and this will be called boat hire okay boat hire the first one we'll call it boat okay so we're going to go to tables remove this one and we'll create one called boat and then we'll go to fields and we have got boat ID and boat name boat name births um, cabin heads length heads and then length m oh can't have symbols um so we're just gonna have to have that as length uh skipper available and style skipper available and then style okay going back we want to see which ones they have so we've got text and text for the first two burst cabin and heads and length are all numbers so we want to change these to numbers change numbers change heads numbers change lengths numbers change skipper available is a yes no so that is boolean um hmm interesting doesn't offer me a boolean option there weirdly um we need to put um skipper as a number okay so i'm going to change that to a number and then we'll have to change that in a bit um and over here we have boat id is unique so we go back up to boat id options and we make this unique and then for style you've got three options classic premier and premier plus so we go to style options and we say um list manage list new we call this style We'll call this uh, classic premier premier plus classic premier premier plus press OK and OK OK again so we've got some lists now I'm going to press OK and over here I've got my uh, my form I'm going to edit this and I'm going to go to skipper 
here. Now this is because this is a Boolean option. I want it yes, no, not a number. But for some reason it's put it down as a number. So I go to Skipper, go to Data, and I go down to Format. So in general, I want it to be Boolean. Show the non-zeros as yes, show zeros as no. So this is where I can then put it down as a number. That's where I change it now to Boolean. Okay. Seems a bit of a weird way of doing it, but uh, that's how you have to do it in FileMaker Pro. Then I go to File and Import, Records and File. Make sure I select CSV. I will choose the data files and I'll choose Boat. We'll have a look and we can see the fields and match. Good. Don't import the first one because they contain the field headings. And then import. Everything works. So if I go over here, I should see now Skipper has not appeared for some reason. It does actually appear. I don't know why. Let's go back. It's showed me as true and false. So I need to go edit layout. Let's click and Boolean. Let's say uh, true. Maybe it is true and false. Okay. Exit layout. Save. Hmm. Doesn't like it for some reason. Hmm. Boolean. Um, let's go back to save. Now it is showing me true and false now, which is good. Uh, manage database. It is actually a number. Interesting enough. Um, okay, that's interesting. So I'm going to leave it that for a minute and we'll see how it goes along. Then I want to put the higher table in. So file, import record, and we're going to put the higher table in here. So open, make sure it says that. Go to new, so it's got a new table. Don't import the first uh, record because that contains the fields, but it will match them. Import, and then I press OK, and I should now see these here, which is fine. There's no currency in, which is good, so I don't need to worry. And I could go to Manage Database, and Boat ID, I think I'm going to have to have, as you know, Boat ID is there. Um, date of hire, customer name, there's no uh, there's no primary key in this one actually, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, open your word process document, set it to landscape, enter task 2 in the header. So let's go to this one here. Okay. So enter in landscape. And insert in the header task two. We'll delete this one and we'll put my name and candidate details on this side here. Close it and save this as task two. Okay. Um, task A2, I should have said. I'm going to go back into the I put as task two instead of task A2. That's just oh, it's removed it. Task A2. I don't want to do that, but we'll have to put my name up there and close. Okay, going back. Salvi wants to add more boats to the boat to able user data entry form. So create a data entry form for the boat table. So that's easy. Just go to boat 
and we choose this option here. So we've got, we can put in the boat table. Now at the moment, it only says true or false. We'll fix that later. Form must match the house style. And the house style basically says, um, uppercase letters for the company name, top margin set to four centimeters, logo in the top right hand corner. So, and over here, it says here, include the ITCS, ICCSC logo. Okay, so it's got to go in the top right corner. Um, so I'm going to edit the layout. And I can make this bigger if I want by dragging it down. Okay, I'm going to go and select, in fact, this here. I don't like the color. Can I change the change the theme? Let's have a look, see if I can change it. Um, let's have this one, press OK. There, I prefer that one because then it will see the colors. If you don't like it, change the theme again. We'll change it to something different. Um, let's have that one. That's better. Now, if you want to add the, the image, we're going to have to look at the top here. I believe it's this one here. No, it's not. Uh, click on one. That's not it. No. Rounded rectangle. If you click on one, that's probably a table. Um, so you want to insert a picture here. So I, I want to insert graphic object. Um, picture. There we go. So you find your picture. Data files. ITCS logo. ITSC logo, I should say. Find it. Click. And it's in the top right. I move it over the top right. Just make sure that's a bit smaller there. We also want the title put at the top. Okay. So what's the name of the, the company again? It's called um, Into the Sunset Cruises. So I select this. So I do Into the Sunset Cruises. Choose the arrow and we can make this bigger. There we are. Make that bigger, like so. Just make that smaller. And I can go to the palette here and change the size. So it fits. Um, like so. And then perhaps you want to have something under here. Um, Uh, boat uh, data entry form like so. So we could put this here. If we just and maybe center it actually, let's center it like so. Um, going over, um, includes a suitable title, logo, be customized to the width of the boat ID field is three centimeters. So click on this one. You want to be three centimeters. There's one that's got a ruler, so I'm assuming that might be it. Uh, yes, it looks like. Now, at the moment, it's in inches. Hmm. But if I click on it, it turns this centimeters, which is good. I put three, and that changes it. That was easy. Length needs to be two, so I click on length. And again, I click on here, and I put two, like so. Uh, save the form as boat form. Well, unfortunately, because it's the way it is, we can't save it. Um, however, I exit the layout, save, and we have this. Um, also, you probably want to change this style here to a drop down. So I can go to data, and instead of being an edit box, I can choose a drop down. Values from style, which means edit. 
I can then just choose the list from down here. The other thing as well, when doing a form, you want to put some buttons on here to make it easy for navigation. So I can then put a button here. Um, it should load up. There we go. I can then say add record. And I can say single step. And I should be able to do things like add a new record. New record, double click. Um, choose another one. And we say delete record, single step, delete record, and then finally we get another one over here, and we say find record, uh, single step, and we go to navigation, and it should go to record, double click. Okay, that will that's some navigation there. Exit, save. So we've got now your uh, form created, which is really good. Then it says company has bought a new boat. Use the boat form to create to add these details. So I just do add form it's there, and we say OC four five six, OC four five six, boat name Bernie. Uh, births eight just read it as four and two ten and classic and I can choose then it tells you take a screenshot of the completed form paste it into task a uh, A2, so shift command 4 hmm. there it's done it take a screenshot and then drag that into there like so, in fact that's too big we're going to resize that like that okay so you can see it all, there we are okay um, resave but do not print so we'll command S, save Sort the boat table by boat ID into alphabetic order. Okay. So when you go back, go into the main view and sort the boat ID into alphabetic order. So ascending, click ascending. Um, take a screenshot of the sorted table. Okay. Now, this comes out as no for Bernie, which is fine, but I somehow want to have this a bit better. So somehow it's coming out still not doing the way I want. So I need to somehow select default type. Um, I need to change this to Boolean. And I do need it as yes, no. Okay. Um, and so in theory, it should change them all. Exit layout, save. Click over here. Now, it doesn't show me. It's not offering me that option. Interesting enough that when I was having a look at the, the data, I'd done everything correct in terms of going, change this to Boolean. You have to go to edit the layout and then make sure um, you select the field, go to data, and then you set boolean. It has to be a number because it's either one or zero. But when you exit it, of course, the reason is the data was in either true or false. So that's where you actually need to change, and this will be set up for you anyway. Um, so this is something for me when I when I get the files. Um, you just have to change them to ones or zeros, and it will work. It's a bit picky but actually when you doing the exam yourself you won't have to worry about it but it's just useful to know but it is ones or zeros um, it's just a bit of a picky thing something that I need to know when I set this up 
uh, last one, so that's false, false, and that's true. Oops, true. Right. Okay, so that's just showing it's ones and zeros, but it's show, represent it as yes and no's. Okay. Um, so that's fine. Going back, of course, we have to then take a screenshot of the sorted table, paste it into document, make sure it's on one side of A4. Okay, so that's going to be the trickier part. Um, to shift command four, select it all like so, and all we need to do is drag this in. Now the problem is, is we need to make sure it fits on one side, and it did ask for it to be on uh, landscape. Um, so I need to somehow get this onto one side. I think this I'm going to have to make smaller as well. Um, probably the best way actually might be go picture format, wrap text, so I can actually move it up here. Um, maybe wrap text as well on there, and we can see them both on there. Okay, uh, I'm going to make that smaller there so I can see it. Okay, that's fine. That fits. Then it says, when you've done that, all you need to do then is make sure it's on one side of A4, easy to read, do not save. So I'm going to insert a new break there. I assume, resave boat table, make sure the data is on one side of A4. I think it just means that the whole that data is on one side of a4 actually so it doesn't so matter which is all right as as all this data is on one a4 which is all right it is um selvi wants a list of boats that are premier plus lit style so going here we need to do a um, query so we go to file create new find uh we want all those that are premier plus style so go to style operator equals and we'll set premier plus uh have a skipper available so here i'm going to put yes and see if this works perform a find none i think for this because it's either ones or zeros yes or no's i'll have to put one there and it should work there we go and it'll find all those that yes is i have to put one or zero it's binary true or false Okay, modify. Are more than 15 centimeters in length or have 10 berths? Hmm. Right. So I need a new request, I think, here. So if I say 10 berths and then more than, because if I put greater than, um, 15 here what will happen is it'll only find me those that are it'll find me those that are greater than and 10 however if i put down here and i say those that are greater than 15 and those are 10 bursts so if i perform a find it will find all those greater than 10 all those with uh more than 10 bursts as well Okay, in fact, I just need to modify this. Modify it. I need to actually say greater than 10. Okay, greater than 10. Um, but if I perform that, it's looking for those that are greater than and those that are greater than 15. And as we can see here, it's looking for an or because here I've got this is greater than 10, but this is less than 15, but it's looking for either or. If I put it on the other one, in one line, it wouldn't find that, okay? Again, going back, I need to make sure that my modify here, my one here is there, and my equals is for Premier Plus there. And then I press 
equals and it will find it'll make sure that all of them have a skipper all of them have premier plus but it's either it'll have greater than 15 length or over 10 birth um okay um then you want to show only the fields that boat id length boat name births so um so here you want boat id boat uh length which we have to move up here boat name and births but we don't want all the others and then here all we need to then do is create the query to produce a list save the query as premier plus take a screenshot of the query design so here i just press ok i'm going to save this as premier plus like so it says take a screenshot of the design so i can see my design i'm probably going to have to show for here the the other two fields as well so I have to go back to perform the find and show the skip available and the style just to show my find. So I can see this, so I can go shift command four and so I can see that. And what I'm going to do here, I say inline with text. I'm going to say same up here, inline with text. If you can't see it, right? And down here, I'm going to then get another, um, where is it? I can't see my screenshot. I'm going to have to go back and get it. So shift command four, like that, drag that in like there, that shows me my criteria. And just to show that it's in the right part, because it's a bit trickier, my advice is then to show this screenshot here with the final view as well, so they can see both. Oh. So they can see both at the same time and you can make that smaller that way you can see both your design and your final view right so it says that say there was queries results take a screenshot of the query design paste a copy into task at a2 display the results of the query take a screenshot of the results okay so that's what i've done i've actually got a screenshot of the results i've just shown modify to show the um the view and that's my design view okay open the higher table so the structure of the higher tier now it's giving me the higher table which is good um, I don't need to change anything there um, but this time once a list of all the customers from Spain and Singapore who hired boats in week 27 so going over here I'm just gonna show them again show all uh i'll delete this one because it always seems to add one in there and we'll then go to the higher one and this time i want to have all those that uh all customers spain and thingy now that means i'll have to look at my relationship here let's go relationship and make sure you show them all and it's boat name is here um oh there, boat id so drag it across a boat can have more than one hire but hire can only have one boat press ok so here we want to do a search so modify and we'll look for all those that were all cust all hired in week 27 that's easy 27 in there perform find and then we only want to show the fields customer name customer email and boat id so modify boat id customer id customer name and customer email 
right? And then finally, uh, we want them from Spain and Singapore. Okay. It's so all those from Spain and Singapore. So press OK. And we know there's, we should have three records. So I can go modify. And so I know, oh, 27. New request, I'll need to say equals Spain. In fact, I'll probably do the same here. I think, I don't know what happened there. Equals 27. And we'll do the same down here. Equals. Actually, we'll just do Spain and what's the other one? The other one was Singapore. Perform a find. Well, we find too many this time. We find country and we find, um, we just find Singapore. We know there's Spain. Um, modify last find. Boat ID. Ah, it's not boat ID. It's uh, perform find. Modify. It's just date of hire. Week 27, so you need to write week 27 down, okay? So I need to say week 27, not 27, okay? So let's have a look. I can either write week 27 or I can write, I think I can do this, uh, star 27, perform. That finds you 28 as well. I don't want that. Um, probably the easiest way to do it. Let's try uh, the at symbol. Twenty-seven. Ah, I know why it's finding. It is right. It's because I'm got the bottom one as well. So I need to star twenty-seven, and I need to put this one down here as well. Star twenty-seven, because of course it's it's it needs to have them both. Perform find. There we go. That's found it there. Um, create a query on the higher table. Save the query as week 27 query. So I, I save this so I can go save current week 27 query. Save. Salvi wants a database report based on the results of the week 27 query. Create a database report to display the results. Okay. So I need to then go to the, the, the form view, but this time I want to go to edit the layout and I want a report. So I need a new layout, printer, report. Okay. I don't want any totals to my knowledge. Um, ah, I didn't sort this as I should have done. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go back because I didn't see the sorting part which said um, sorting it's end order of country so I need to go back and sort it in descending order of country there and over here you only want boat ID customer and customer email so boat ID customer name customer email so you only want them okay Create a query on the table, save. Now we want to do this. So I then want to go to um, over to this one. Edit layout and this time new layout. Okay. Print, report, continue, click, click. Next. What fields you want? You want boat ID, customer name, customer email, boat ID, customer name. Customer email. So these are the ones you want. Then we go next. Now, sorting it proves a problem because we can't sort what's on there. Hmm. Um, however, it should, hopefully, because it's, it's already put them. So if I go next. Um, then have a suitable title. So this is those that are customers from Spain, Singapore. So I'm going to put, let's just put it in small case here. 
Okay, customers from Spain and Singapore who booked in week 27. Press OK for our, for our um, we input task. Um, so at task two down the bottom as the footer because it's task A2 task A2 and our name on the right like so and then shows only required fields sorted so I go next next should now show me it um, Let's just move that across a bit. Move that over here. Um, and then save it as week 27 report. I didn't save it as week 27 report, but I could have done that at the start. And then you just print it. So I just, uh, ah, I need to have the logo on here. So that needs to go on the top 27, uh, top corner. Um, I need to insert a picture on the on the top right. Yes, yeah, so that needs to go on the top right side here. Okay. Um, system. When I go back to exit layout, save should show me it with the logo. I can then preview, and I can then print it off. Okay. Um, enter name candidate and number in the footer, print, um, and then finally we have answer these questions in task A2. So we have some questions to answer as well now. Um, and I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so I can see it all. Now, over here, So we're going to make this a bit smaller. So on here, let's go to insert blank page. And the first one is um, A2F. So I'll put A2F and I'll put I. Um, validation is needed uh, to check um, that the data entered um, fits in with the rules of the of the um, database of the fields um, it checks that um, the data is uh, data entered is meaningful and makes sense okay two relationship between the two tables it's a one to many one to many okay basically um, if I go back manage database relationships a boat can have many hires but a hire can only belong to one boat so a boat can have many hires but one hire can belong to one boat. Uh, three, we've got this data here. This is from an Access database, Microsoft Access. Of course, for this, this is Farmaker Pro. We have field size, how long the field, the type of uh, the format it's in. Um, input mask is, let's say, if you've got capital letters and lowercase. Default value, if you, if let's say you want a certain value there, if they don't fill it in. Validation rule, so if it's doing Mr. or Mrs. And required if it has to be put in. State the name of the property that will be used as a presence check. Well, that would be a required field. Okay, so that would be very simple, a required field. Um, give one reason why a present check has not been used with custom email. Um, 
not all customers may have an email address therefore presence check um, check does not have to be yes okay and then resync this resave and print command and p and that's the end of uh, task a2 okay then we're moving on so i'm going to close this and the final part is about um, into the sunset once a printer poster promotes its boating holidays i'm going to just press ok there and close Open a new document using suitable software, uh, which will of course be Word. Enter your name and candidate number in the header, in the footer this time. So this time only your candidate number in the footer. Um, save the docker as task A3. So I'll probably put task A3 down the bottom just to make sure uh so they know what it is okay and my details down there hopefully if you double click it should come out if not just go to close then text the data poster is stored in poster create the poster right um so we need to put this data on there and so data file and we want the data here um, in poster and so we've got all the data here we're trying to advertise promote boating holidays um, the title relax enjoy and cruise okay let's let's put a um, uh, word art here if I say relax enjoy and cruise relax enjoy and cruise okay we can change the shape on here um, if you want we should be able to change the shape um, You should be able to choose its shape. Oh, just inserted it. I was hoping I'd be able to put one of the little shapes in there. Uh, align text, text direction. Doesn't seem to want to. Um, I was hoping I could do a curve. Obviously not. Um, anyway, let's just center this. So center. If I click, I should be able to center it. Let's move it in the middle there. Um, over here, I'm going to make that bigger. Uh, the logo needs to be in the top corner, of course. Remember. So we need to put the logo on there, and that needs to be on the top corner. Um, Oh, so the logo needs to be on the top corner. Square, so I'll move that around here. Um, How weird. Right, I'm going to close that for a minute, save, and I'm going to just call this task A to F for a minute because it seems to be something up there. I don't know why. Um, let's go over here. Why did that put that there? Okay, so it's taken it out. That's good. Right. Put the image back in there 
we want to picture formatting so I want to go wrap text square and I'll move it over here then I want to have the writing so I want relax <clears throat> I want relax enjoy and cruise so we'll, we'll have a um, word up here so, so, so we'll have word up relax enjoy and cruise okay like so um what else do we want to put in here needs to be fit the logo appropriate use of bullet points website address text in the file poster two images and a table for the new boats that include columns um so then some here book in a week in may and receive right so let's copy some of this over here so I can see what it comes out like. Right. Um, we need to make some. This looks like it's going to be bulleted lists. So I need to highlight this and bullets. Um, so it's right. It's a bit small. So let's make this a bit bigger here. Like so. Um, so we've got this one down the bottom. So there, probably want boat treats are a great way of what size is this? 16. So that's 16. But there, let's make this centered and down the bottom it says it a table for the new boats that could column headings um, so information about the new boats I would imagine what we've got to have is some column headings um, let's find this table four so you've already got a boat name so you've got Genesis you've got Romeo We've got salamander, salamander. Um, then we've got um, births. As to be fair, you probably see births. You can see twelve. Um, is a Premier Plus boat uh, with um, it is eighteen meters long. And we'll have a skipper. Um, it is classic style. So actually, we could probably say so. This is this makes it harder to do. Actually, um, we could say style. As so we've got Premier Plus there. We've got a uh, classic, and we've got a Premier Plus here. Um, then I'm going to add a new column here insert columns to the left um, how many births right so we can put births in there so we've got 12 here not 121 12 next one is 4 and the next one has 10 okay so that's that one then we're looking at so we got premier plus 12 cabins this one's got four next one's two and next one's five so we've got some similarities here <clears throat> then i go into the next one um which will be uh so we've got Burst cabins heads and we've got four um one five uh finally we put a column to the right we've got uh length 
and I think we also want skipper as well. So I'm going to say columns of right, we'll say skipper. So here, this is 18 meters, and this has a skipper, yes. Next one is 10 meters, and that has no skipper. This is 20 meters, and oops, and has a skipper. So I can remove this because now I've put it down in one. Um, so I just need to break these apart a bit. Um, put center it, underline, there we go. Information about the boats. Um, web address. Where do I get the web address from? Must be all the way up here. Let's have a look. Um, itscruise.net. So I go www.itscruise.net. Okay. Oh, put it in the wrong bit. I put it in that one. I need to put it in that one. Like so. And uh, keep text. Um, so we've got this. Now, what else do I need to put on this poster? Um, this is for different one here. So I've got relax logo, use of logo, website address, text. I've got that two images. I've got the table, two images. I need two images to put in now. So let's get these two images put in two suitable images. Um, um, Relax, cruise. So why do you put an image there? Picture. And we can just go to, if I make it bigger, wrap. And I can then put one, perhaps, here. I probably want that down the bottom, actually. Put that down the bottom. Um, to fake, probably put that down the bottom as well. Put that there. We'll take that there. And we'll remove these. And let's get another image on there as well. Um, put another picture on here. Let's make that a bit smaller there. Don't like it actually very well. Um, let's just cut it. I wonder if I can crop it. And I'm going to wrap the text. And crop crop do it like there do it over this side as well crop uh we'll put it over this side here like so um once we've done that resave it and print it Okay, and that, so this is task A3. I'm going to save it as A3. Yeah, so I'm going to save this as A3. Task A3. And you then print it. What you might want, because it does say put the, the name of the company at the very top. Um, and we probably want that the name of the cup at the uh, name at the very top 
So here we know it's called uh, Into the Sunset Cruises, Into the Sunset Cruises. Did it tell us about colour? No. <clears throat> so I'm going to do make it bigger, center it, and then that should fit. And I might just say into the sunset cruises um, presents like that. Okay, into the sunset cruises presents. And then I'm going to save that and then I print it. And that is the end of section A of the specimen paper. Thank you very much for watching.